Hey, my name is Kara. I'm an ultrasound tech, and let's go over today what the difference is between a nuchal fold and a nuchal translucency thickness. Now, with the video that I posted recently about an abnormal NT that I stitched, as well as my own personal experience with having an abnormal NT thickness, a nuchal translucency is much different than a nuchal fold. I've had a couple of comments now on those videos talking about nuchal folds, when that is very different than what a nuchal translucency thickness is. The NT measurement is going to be fluid that is at the back of baby's neck, and that is normal to see at around 12 weeks time is when we do that measurement of that fluid. Anything over three millimeters is going to be considered abnormal, but just because that fluid is increased does not mean baby has a genetic abnormality, and it might not even mean that you have an increased risk for a genetic abnormality. This is because the NT thickness, so again, nuchal translucency thickness, is part of a genetic screening. So you're going to use the thickness of the fluid at the back of baby's neck. You're also going to use mom's blood work as well as her genetic background. So three of those things are going to be combined and then give you a risk factor as to whether or not baby has any sort of chromosomal abnormality. The most common one being Down syndrome or trisomy 21. Now the nuchal fold on the other hand is a measurement that we do in conjunction with the posterior fossa. And this is basically a measurement in the anatomy scan of the brain. So it is going to be a thickness at the back of baby's neck, the skin thickness anyways, and anything over six millimeters for a nuchal fold is going to be considered a soft marker. And the most common thing that we think of for this is going to be Down syndrome, along with any other kind of aneuploidy that you can think of. I think there's a list of like 10 to 15 of them that the risk does get increased when we see a increased nuchal fold thickness, which again is the skin at the back of baby's neck that we are measuring at the anatomy scan. So this is the nuchal translucency that I was talking about. This is the 12 week one. This is the one that I was talking about in my previous videos. And this is just going to be that black fluid that they're measuring at the back of baby's neck. Anything over three is considered abnormal. Now this on the other hand is showing a posterior fossa view. So essentially a certain area of the brain in a cross section of the head during the anatomy scan. This over here is the cerebellum. This over here is going to be the cisterna magna. And then this over here is the nuchal fold. So from here to here is where we are going to be measuring the thickness of the skin at the back of baby's neck. This is going to be six millimeters or under for being normal. Anything over six millimeters is considered abnormal and will be a soft marker for aneuploidies such as trisomy 21. 